Fender's genius design of the Telecaster was the fact that it was solid. You can see it's not a hollow body, because at the time, hollow mm -hmm. bodies were prominent and prone to feedback, whereas this was not. So you can see it has two single coils. Bridge pickup is angled to create that tele twang or the brightness. Why would he favor this guitar? What do you think? He really liked the ability of the Telecaster's bridge pickup to cut through the mix. Somewhere around 1972 on his guitar, apparently um, he asked his guitar tech at the time to carve it out and put a humbucker or double coil. On this, in, and this, this Yeah, one. on this one, double coil in the neck so that he could have the uh, sound of a Gibson and the sound of a Fender in right. one guitar. From what I've read, he favored the Stratocaster tremolo system, well, mostly because of its response, but also intonation, which intonation on a guitar makes sure that all the notes sound good on the fretboard, because from here to here, can't be fixed. That's just standard intonation, but from here to here, it can be anywhere between a half step and a whole step off, depending on how bad your intonation is. Mm. I was reading in, uh, I have an original copy of the 1971 or 72 Guitar Player magazine that your dad was featured in, he just said that he liked the Fender Stratocaster tremolo bridge uh, the best. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna um, introduce you to Tom Vienna. I came across Tom because when I first had the idea to do the documentary, I was just researching and his website always came up over and over and over and I was like, God, people are obsessed with this guitar. And, and then there was like forums and chats, like where's this guitar? We, and, and like seriously intricate, details on how to replicate this guitar. So in my journey, we're trying to figure out where this guitar is. It's I, kind of taken a character of its own because we, we haven't found it yet.